doing, um, heading back for a man's delicious breakfast. We're sitting here uh, next to the stump of Acacia Girardii, a red thorn tree, and with the news that Horsana's tracks have gone back south again, naturally, obviously, why wouldn't they? Of course, I was trying to find him, and so therefore he has disappeared. And we have just had a wonderful time watching a fly being entrapped and ensnared and then caught by the spider in this web. Now what happens is that it flew into one of these knockdown threads and then it becomes completely impossible for it to, and I've never seen this before, it becomes impossible for it to escape. And let me just get the right side of the light for you. It becomes impossible for it to escape because gravity sucks it down and every time it moves gravity pulls it down further it can't fly properly in amongst these webs so if it flies up it gets knocked down again and the closer and closer and closer to the bottom it goes the more thickly or sort of um, ensnared it becomes and the more impossible it becomes for it to move and every time it tries to get off whatever piece of strand that has caught it, it flies up and gets knocked down further and gravity just sucks it slowly and inexorably down to the final net which is under there where my finger is. See it there? I don't see a finger on the net. Yes, okay, well that's where the very finely constructed net is. And then the spider who is hiding underneath the branch here, somewhere here, comes rushing out, grabs it, and the fly ends up like this one here. Can you see that where my finger is? That spider's been wrapped up in silk. You got it there? Mm -hmm. And I've never seen it before. I've often wondered how these knockdown threads work. And I, I assumed that the fly or whatever it was would fly into a knockdown thread and then fall sort of trapeze artist like down onto the net. And that is not what happened. It tries to escape, but it is completely inexorably sucked downward. And it might be, I imagine if the fly was conscious to know that no matter how hard you try, and the more effort you put in, the further down you go, the more opposite the direction that you want to go becomes. It's so ingenious from the spider. Well, I suppose from nature to give the spider such an ingenious method of fly murdering. Fergus and I were then both trying to put it into the web because they were irritating us severely. And I kept putting my head down next to it to see if I couldn't sort of encourage a fly to fly into it. Let me do that again. Maybe it'll work this time. Fergus, is there a fly anywhere near my head? Not at the moment, but if I know your head... Naturally, there is not a fly anywhere near my head any more than there is a leopard for us to view. No. Not much. Anyway, that is this rather remarkable spider's web. I was thinking as we were walking along here, feeling depressed at our lot today, that um, <laughs> of course we shouldn't be nearly as depressed as the scrub hair that was dis 